Hello everyone, my name is Murray. Welcome to this video. Uh, a lot of people have told me that they don't know the difference between dynamic links from Premiere Pro to After Effects and vice versa. So usually you would right click on your footage and replace with After Effects composition. But a lot of people don't know how to do it backwards. So if you start your project in After Effects and you go into Premiere Pro, a lot of people don't know how to do that. Uh, and there isn't really a button to do that in After Effects. So I'm going to show you how to go both ways and just utilize Adobe Dynamic Link a lot more. Also, feel free to jump in the Discord server down below. A great community. We like to game and uh, support, um, visual effects, editing, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So join the community if you're interested in more of that. But without further ado, let's jump in. But first, intro. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro and usually when people create a dynamic link, they would right click on their video footage and they would replace with After Effects composition and then it would automatically create a sequence and a composition in After Effects. Do your editing over there and then you would go back into Premiere Pro and it would update in real time. But let's say that you have your project in After Effects already set up and you want to be able to render in Premiere Pro without having to render it out in After Effects then drag it into your Premiere Pro project and then render out again. Sometimes people would have to do that if they have a video that they want to have an alpha background or like a see-through background. Usually they would render it out in After Effects with a transparent background and then take it into Premiere Pro. And another reason why people do that is because video files with a transparent background from After Effects are not as compatible or harder to play than from Premiere Pro. I don't know if it's a compression rate or if it's just a format that it has from Premiere Pro or After Effects, but if you have a video with an alpha or a transparent background, Premiere Pro's video format is much more compatible and more user-friendly. And so rendering in Premiere Pro is much better, especially with transparent backgrounds. So what we're gonna do here, assuming you have your composition set up and everything, and so with your whole composition setup, let's just say that this is what I want to have in Premiere Pro and I want to render it out with an alpha channel. You can see here it's got a transparent background. So let's get this into Premiere Pro so we can render it out in a, in a reasonable format. So with everything done, I'm going to go into Premiere Pro and first off, make sure you've saved it in the same root files you have with After Effects just to keep things organized. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new black video. It doesn't matter what color it is, I'm gonna do okay. I'm just gonna make a new sequence. Make sure the sequence is the same as your one in After Effects here, just to avoid any compatibility issues. And then also when you're in After Effects here, when you go into the end of your composition, let's just say for this example, it's 10 seconds long. We gotta make sure that we have the same for the Premiere Pro project as well. So I'm just gonna go 10 seconds. And I'm going to drag the black video footage all the way to 10 seconds. Now that I know that the Premiere Pro project is going to fit the whole of the After Effects composition, I'm going to link it with After Effects, replace with After Effects composition. And you can see that black video is also in here. That's cool. So I'm just going to hide that because I don't need to use it. I can actually delete it if I want as well. What I'm going to do is that main composition where my video is, I'm going to drag that main composition into the dynamic linked composition in After Effects. So you can see here, it's in here, there's an alpha, alpha channel, see-through background. So I'm gonna go back into Premiere Pro and you can see it's updated here. Now, just to show you that this is an alpha background, I'm just going to create a color mat and I'm just going to do some color just so that you can see. So if I drag this color underneath, you can see that it's a see-through background. All right, so I'm just gonna delete that, drag it down again, and uh, there's my video. Go ahead and subscribe as well, where it would be appreciated. A ton more tutorials coming in the future. So when you wanna render it out, I'm just gonna do Control M, and then you can either choose the WebM format, but you have to go and download a plugin to be able to render in a WebM format. There, it's free, you just gotta do a bit of digging. Um, if I find one, I'll be able to link it down in the description. But you can also do QuickTime. With the QuickTime selected, save it wherever you want i'm not going to export audio because there's no audio in this case and this is important i'm going to do animation in the video codec i'm going to match the source over here and you can choose to render at maximum depth i'm not going to because usually this is pretty decent 
and I'm going to do 8-bit plus alpha. That's an alpha channel. Alpha channel is a see-through background or transparent background. Then all I need to do is click export and it's all set. So as you can see, a pretty powerful tool. A lot of people haven't really utilized the dynamic link between Premiere Pro and After Effects and vice versa. Actually, I don't know how many people know about that, but one extra thing that you know about. If you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing. I'm going to be making more in the future. If you are interested in visual effects, Premiere Pro editing, a little bit of photography, uh, streaming, setups, uh, motion graphics, all that kind of stuff, consider subscribing and stick around for that. Leave a like, it would really help the channel out. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.